Hi Ian here. In today's video I wanted to try and explain the Scotty Scheffler pencil in the end of the grip training drill. Uh, excellent drill but I just wanted to clarify a little bit. It's very easy to get misled. Uh, it's great when these great players do it because their swings are, are just so good. So you may have seen a video with Scotty Scheffler doing some practice routines and drills and he puts a pencil in the end of the grip so when he's swinging he can see where that pencil is pointing so it will be on the same line as the club shaft here I've got a longer club stuck into my seven iron to try and demonstrate this a little bit better so the idea is that when we swing back this would point in Scotty Scheffler's case the pencil and you can see the pencil will be sticking off the end of the grip a little bit there but this exaggerates it so that should be pointing down onto the target line we've got the target line that runs through the ball and one we bring all the way back so that line there this should be pointing down to that line so that would be effectively on plane however so would that and so would that you could argue that anywhere here that club's on plane now ideally we want a 45 degree angle or I don't know 44 maybe 46 but we'll just call it 45 it's better in for, men, for, our, for our mental now if we say that's that's about 45 here. That's the kind of angle we're looking at with pretty much all the clubs. Now with, with Scotty, he's trying to get here. Now that's fine provided you've got body turn. It's not just a case of trying to manipulate the club and then you think, oh, well, that, that looks good there. I must be doing that right. It's pointing down in the right place. I mean, you may have a pencil sticking out at the end of the club instead of this shaft. But you think, okay, that, that looks good. Likewise, we could be here and we think, yeah, that looks, that looks about right. Now, in effect, it is right, but we've compromised any kind of swing. There's no swing from the body at all. No legs, no shoulders, no back, chest. So try to make sure that you've got the body moving with this because what should happen is as we turn our bigger muscles, this position is more arrived at. So you can see here, that's, I don't know, I think that looks about right there. It's not far off. And and then we continue up into our backswing. It's the same in the follow through. We want that same position here around about the 45 degree mark. For me, if I was here, I would then first thing I would check is because this is incorrect. I can see it's incorrect is have I turned? Not really. I've just tried to contrive a position because I've been told that that should be pointing down to that target line. So hopefully that Scotty Scheffler uh, practice drill has, has made it a little bit clearer. Uh, it's something that I'm, uh, it's one of my little pet hates really is when someone's trying to explain something and they don't really explain it for everyone. Um, whenever I teach I always try and make sure that you know sometimes I go on a little bit too much because I just want to get the point across so when that person practices they're doing it correctly they know how to do it rather than sort of yeah I've got that and then the next time you see that person for a lesson it's like well what have you been doing and like well you told me to do that I'm like no I didn't tell you to do that I told you to do that Oh, right, so it's another week wasted. So try to be a little bit meticulous when you're working on your golf swing. And this is a really good tip. The pencil in the end of the club here, checking where it's pointing. Yes, there's nothing wrong with that. I recommend it. But as I said earlier, make sure you're still swinging to try to create that position. 
So hopefully that's been helpful to you. If you like the content, please subscribe. It's really appreciated. And until next time, thanks very much for watching.